שלום, שלום, שלום. Welcome to Bible Learners Corner. We have talked of a new creation in Christ Jesus. Mankind needs to be a new creation in Christ Jesus. That is bearing the character of Jesus Christ. As we bear the character of Jesus Christ, we are to be Christ-like and having the character of Christ. Jesus Christ, the Son of God, is the firstborn among many brethren in God's heavenly family. He is the heavenly man who bears the image and character of the heavenly Father. All of us who have borne the image of dust must bear the image of the Heavenly Father. All of us who have borne the image of dust must bear the image of the Heavenly Man, Jesus Christ, if we need to have his character. And when we have been transformed from the earthly into heavenly man, we become adopted sons and heirs of the kingdom of God. Our character is therefore conformed to the image and character of God. For whom he foreknew. He also predestined to be conformed to the image of his Son, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. The book of Romans, chapter 8, verse 28. Also in the book of Colossians, chapter 1, verse 5, Jesus Christ is the image of the invisible God. He is the firstborn of all creation. As we have borne the image of the man of dust, we shall also bear the image of the heavenly man, as the Bible says, the book of First Corinthians chapter 15, verse 49. Therefore, once we become born again. We have put on the new man who is renewed in knowledge according to the image of him who created him. The book of Colossians chapter 3 verse 10. Once we become born again, we have put on the new man who is renewed in knowledge according to the image of him who created him. We no longer have the character of the old man whose mind the God of this age has blinded, who do not believe, lest the light of the gospel of the glory of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine on them. According to the book of Second Corinthians chapter 4, verse 40. Also, 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 18. 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 18. But we all, with unveiled face, beholding us in a mirror, the glory of the Lord are being transformed into the same image from glory to glory just as by the Spirit of the Lord. As we read in the book of Hebrews, chapter 1, bearing the character of Jesus Christ, therefore, is to be Christ-like and having the character of Christ, who, being the brightness of God's glory and the express image of his person, and upholding all things by the word of his power, when he had by himself purged our sins, sat down 
at the right hand of the Majesty on high. Hebrews chapter 1, verse 3. We therefore should walk worthy of the calling with which we were called with all lowliness and gentleness, with long suffering, bearing with one another in love, trying hard to keep the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. There is one body and one Spirit, just as we were called in one hope of our calling, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is above all and through all and in us all. To each one of us, grace has been given according to the measure of Christ's gift. We have gifts of the Holy Spirit. He himself given us some to be apostles, some prophets, some evangelists and some pastors and teachers for the equipping of the saints for the work of ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ till we all come to the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God to a perfect man, to the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ, that we should no longer be children tossed to and fro, and carried about with every wind of doctrine by the trickery of men in the cunning craftiness of deceitful plotting, but speaking the truth in love may grow up in all things into him who is the head Christ from whom the whole body joined and knit together by what every joint supplies according to the effective working by which every part does its share causes growth of the body for the edifying of itself in love. Reading through the book of Hebrews, chapter 1. Therefore, with the character of Christ in the new man, we should no longer walk as the rest of the unbelievers walk in the futility of their mind, having their understanding darkened, being alienated from the life of God because of the ignorance that is in them, because of the blindness of their heart, who, being past feeling, have given themselves over to lewdness, to work all uncleanness with greedness. Now that you have received his Holy Spirit, and if indeed you have heard him and have been taught by him as the truth is in Jesus. Put off concerning your former conduct, the old man which grows corrupt according to the deceitful lusts. Be renewed in the spirit of your mind. Put on the new man which was created according to God in true righteousness and holiness. In doing this, you will not grieve the Holy Spirit. Therefore, put away lying let each one of us speak truth with his neighbor, for we are members of one another. Be angry and do not sin. Do not let the sun go down on your wrath, 
nor give place to the devil. Let him who stole steal no longer, but rather let him labor, working with his hands what is good, that he may have something to give him who has need. Let no corrupt word proceed out of your mouth, but what is good for necessary edification, that it may impart grace to the hearers. Do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God, by whom you are sealed for the day of redemption. Let all bitterness, wrath, anger, clamor, and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice. In conclusion, be kind to one another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, even as God in Christ forgave you. We recommend you read through the whole chapter, the book of Ephesians, chapter 4. As we have talked of bearing the character of Jesus Christ, this is to be Christ-like and having the character that God wants, having the character of Christ. We thank you for joining us in today's discussion. As we need to read through several scriptures with the guiding of the Holy Spirit, we need to see the real pictures within the scriptures we are reading. You can continue listening to the messages that we have already published and more are coming up soon. Stay blessed and shalom.